If you want to keep your gear dry but accessible at the same time, you've got to check out this new thing from Olife. This is the Olife Dry Trip Messenger Bag, and I'm going to explain to you why I picked it up. Let's talk about it. All right, folks, welcome back. So this is kind of e-bike related, kind of maybe office emergency kit, kind of subdued, kind of get home bag type thing related. This is from Olife. Now, if you don't know about Olife, they're a division, a division of Olight. Some of the products they make, some of them they have made for them, but it's a neat little system and it's very, very handy. And I think it's going to come in handy for me for my particular use for it. Now, my use for it might be different than yours. I'm going to be using this when I'm riding my e-bike. If I'm bringing extra gear with me, maybe I'm shooting a video, maybe I'm carrying my camera in there, maybe I'm carrying some extra food I want to demo to cook, or maybe I'm getting out of Dodge in an emergency and my car isn't working and I have to use my e-bike. So this is an interesting little uh, kind of thing that I picked up. And what I like about this is the fact that it's waterproof. So I can put this down pretty much anywhere. I can ride in the rain and not worry about the stuff inside getting wet. And we are going to test this thing out. I'm gonna take it outside, I'm gonna put some gear in it. I'm gonna load it up with a bunch of gear. Um, not necessarily stuff I'm taking with me on the bike one day, but just a bunch of gear and see how well it holds it and see how, uh, how it sticks together. So these are going to be on sale today. They were $23.99. I'm sorry, they were $29.99. They're $23.99 now. And I also like the fact that with this, I don't have to leave all my gear on my bike. Now, I had those little bags, the pannier bags on the side of the wheels. And I had them, I don't know, not too full, but I had some emergency gear in there. And I started thinking to myself, A, if I'm just riding a mile away or five miles away, I can walk the bike home or ride it. So I really don't need that much emergency gear. And B, if I was bugging out, maybe I'd be taking a backpack on my back or maybe something like that. Now, would I bug out long term on an e-bike? No, of course not. But maybe I have to get out of Dodge quickly. Maybe there's an emergency. My car isn't starting. Maybe I have to go help somewhere and my car is in the shop. You know, I've had it where days I'm getting it tuned up or something fixed on it. And I have to go help with ham radio somewhere. Well, there you go. I can put a rig in there. I can put maybe some extra food and water in there and I can go assist where I'm needed. So that's really the deal. And I also don't leave it around to get stolen. I remember when I put those bags on, I drove my e-bike to Walmart. I was going shopping, actually, just picking up a few things. And I locked up the bike and I looked at the bags going, oh, well, the bike won't get stolen, but what about everything inside? Damn. Now, I mean, what did I have in there? Freeze-dried food. I had a titanium stove and cook kit. I don't think a uh, potential criminal is going to even know what this thing is. This is a, uh, you know, my titanium kit. And I, but I started thinking to myself, you know, somebody running through, rummaging through it, maybe a desperate homeless person or whatever, might see this and think, oh, wow, score. So, you know, um, I had like a life straw in there, stuff like that. Just stuff I wouldn't want to lose if somebody saw the opportunity to steal it, not even knowing what was inside, maybe thinking it's valuable and just grip the bag off the bike and run away. So I like the fact of having the bag on my person. When I'm not using anything in the bag, when I'm not putting gear in the bag for something, I can bring that with me, shop for a few items, stick them in there, sling it over my shoulder. It does have an interesting feature we're gonna show in a minute here, but I can swing it over my shoulder and carry it um, on the bike without it flopping all over the place. All right, so this is a brand new release. The sale started yesterday. I got messed up this week because Monday I had a really sick stomach. Couldn't do much for the video. Um, I did have a video up Monday, but I shot it a day before. So I'm glad I was able to get back in the swing of things and put this together. This is a splash proof TPU laminated 420D polyester shell. It has a splash proof exterior zipper. It's a YKK zipper to keep everything inside dry. Has seven large main components. It has a removable padded laptop sleeve. It offers plenty of organized storage space inside. So if you're not gonna use a laptop in there, and I'm not, I'm gonna pull that out. Let me quickly show it to you. I wanna make sure I stay in camera because I'm a little bit close on this shot. Inside here is Velcro, okay, top and bottom, and you'll just pull this laptop sleeve out. Now, the laptop sleeve is a very nice one, very well padded. It does have a liner in here, and it does have some molly inside there if you want to maybe stick a pocket knife or whatever, or your gear inside. Very, very nice, well thought out. This is the feature I was talking about for my e-bike. This is a cross-body strap. So if I'm carrying this over my shoulder, and I want to make sure it stays stuck up against my side. I can snap this here and here 
and have this on my side strapped to me on the side where it's not going to flop around every time I stop or every time I turn around on my bike it'll be strapped up against me I'm going to try this and see how I like it um, see how, how it does it is all velcro you're just going to go through those and velcro it up and adjust it to the length you need. I haven't tried it yet, but I am going to try it. Another nice feature of this, you've got a nice big drag handle here if you need it. These do come off. These kind of remind me of some kind of 1970s woman's bag. I don't know. <laughs> They're kind of big, but they do come off if you push them in and turn it. So you can take this strap off. Being that this strap is the main thing I'm gonna be using, I'm not taking it off, I'm gonna be using it. So once you get that out of there, you got a whole lot of space inside there. I believe it's seven liters. And you do have some Velcro and Molly on the front here if you see the need to use it. Um, that's kind of handy for me. Again, if I'm using this in a go bag type scenario, I can clip a radio into one of those there. Maybe a ham rig with my uh, headphones and be able to talk while I'm riding the bike simply by keying down with my fingers. I'm going to grab a radio here and uh, show you what it looks like. Now, these are MERS radios. I probably wouldn't be using these, but easily slide this in there. Let me take it off camera here and put it against me so I can get this in here. There, I push it against me. And I can have that riding on my side with an earpiece and a little hand microphone type thing. And I can actually communicate while I'm riding as well. So having the Molly on the outside is handy. You can strap on maybe a first aid kit, whatever you want to strap on. You don't need to go to extremes, but you can strap on whatever you want. Now, of course, obviously, if you keep stuff on the outside, the outside stuff isn't going to be protected from water. And like I showed you, the shoulder pad there is attached, uh, detachable. It is adjustable if you want it lower or higher. It came very, very short, and I'm like, ooh, this isn't going to work. And then I saw it was adjustable, and I was able to, to do it perfectly. All your outside zippers are YKK waterproof exterior zippers. They open very smoothly. Had no problems with these at all. Right across there, no problem. And it's dual padded panels on the back provide nice comfy cushioning remember this part's gonna be up against you all day that's nice comfy cushioning there so if you do have that strap on and it's held to your side up against it won't bother you after a while so I'm really really liking that so let's pack this thing full of gear I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put inside and show you how much it can hold and then we're gonna take it outside and spray it down with water now if you know me you know I'm not gonna purposely damage my gear so I'm pretty confident that this is gonna block out the water so let's get this thing filled up I'll show you what's going in it and I'll bring you back so I do still have an emergency kit on my back of my bike it's just a smaller bag and I demoed that for you a while back um, from Olife it's just that small little thing that fits right on the back thing it doesn't hang over the sides it's way lighter the bike even seems faster without those two bags hanging off either side of the wheels so we're gonna throw a tourniquet in there let's just say I'm, I'm throwing my gear together to bug out fire kit uh, one of these wet wipes massive wipes uh, water filter and I did have a life straw but I don't see it here Sawyer water filter we got a first aid kit uh, bungee if I need to attach something to it Okay, toss that in there. And I'm not putting this in neatly. We're just throwing it in here to do a, a test to see how much this can really hold. Get in there. There we go. So there you go. And I mean, there's still room for more in there if I really wanted to fill it up. So let's close it up. There you go. Not even too heavy. Let's take it outside, spray it down, and see if everything inside survives. All right. I got light, kind of light spraying rain on it. We can change that out. Directly hitting that zipper. See how that holds up. I want to get a good one. There we go. Like a light kind of rain. Now, of course, the molly in front is going to get wet. Of course, the pouch on the back is going to get wet. But I just want to see how well this holds up. Especially that zipper, because that's the only real weak point I can see on it after that. So let's bring it inside, open it up, and see if everything managed to stay dry. All right, so we're back inside, and as you can tell, it's still wet, <laughs> wetting up my desk there. I brought a paper towel to kind of wipe that down, but let's see how everything survived. All right, that's dry. That's nice and dry. And we go there. Yeah, it seems like everything else stayed dry, no problems at all. And this is, whoops, I got a little bit of water there. That's interesting. Oh, no. It's weird, there's no water in the bottom, so it must have been a little leakage through the top there, but not bad. That's why I tell people to keep everything in plastic. 
as you can tell no water on that so it looks like i got a little bit of leakage through there that got on my uh the outside of my fire kit bag not much but all in all and i sprayed that thing right on that you know non-stop so all in all gotta say I'm impressed with it it did a good job it will definitely be uh something that i use for carrying again i live out in the desert getting rained on isn't something that happens all that often but when it does it's intense and it may only be for five or ten minutes and it kept everything dry in there especially the first aid kit i was really shocked at that you know i didn't get any water on there of course it wasn't on the bottom there was a tiny there's like a couple of sprinkles on the bottom and i think that's what the first aid kit got and somehow not the first aid kit the fire kit somehow it was on top here and it must have gotten sprinkled through there but all in all that's pretty well sealed up now of course i'm gonna have to let this dry before i do decide to use it but gotta say pretty darn good and for the price 23 bucks 24 bucks can't beat it so definitely check them out i have a link down below where you can check it out and i will dry as i talk to you because i don't want this water to spread all over my desk um, definitely check them out they uh, definitely give you a good deal there's a ton of other stuff that's on sale too there is a sale running that will start today and end through the 27th this is one of their new releases so i'm bringing it to you today definitely check it out and see if you uh, think it might be something you need so i'm very pleased with it really think it's gonna work well for my needs i didn't want to do a whole backpack every time i left the house because that would just feel heavy i'm used to wearing a cross body bag just for my everyday carry bag so I can stick my everyday carry bag in there and a thing of water in there just for everyday riding around and having fun. Um, I do have a small emergency kit that lives on the e-bike now, but for carrying stuff around in a larger type situation where maybe I'd want more gear with me, can't beat it. Anyway, folks, that's the video for today. Definitely check out the link down below. See if you like it. Again, you're not going to soak this thing underwater and expect it to stay dry. And that's why I hit that thing so hard. And all I got was just a little bit of water through there. Didn't get in the bag, of course. But just a little tiny bit of water on the top where this was sitting on the top there on top of everything. So I really can't complain. And that's why it pays to keep your stuff. This is wet from the bottom of the bag. Keep your stuff in plastic bags because it definitely protects it. Anyway, folks, like I said, link will be down below. You, if you want to check out Obi, that link will be down below as well. Definitely check out all their new gear. I've been really impressed with their gear so far. Um, I know some of the stuff they make, some of the stuff they have made for them. They're, they are a division of Olight, so definitely check out Olight as well. My link will be down there if you want to save 15%. We just had an awesome sale, and thank you all who purchased. Wow, a lot of people bought Olights this month. Those, those, uh, that Arkfeld UV was real popular. So, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out all our links down below. We have our Amazon affiliate store. Uh, if you don't see anything in the store you like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. We really do appreciate when you do that. That's a way for you to support the channel without doing a thing. It doesn't cost you a penny. Below that is our freeze dried wholesaler link. My link will save you 15% on anything you purchase. So definitely check that out if you're interested in stocking up on some freeze dried food. And I have a really cool video coming up, I believe Tuesday for freeze dried wholesalers. I'm going to show you thousand dollars worth of their food and a new way to hydrate some of it. And don't forget to check out our My Patriot Supply link. That's preparewithiridium.com. They have an awesome sale this month for the three month kit you're getting two hundred dollars off the three month kit plus a free alexa pure water gravity water filter okay i have one of those in my home i use it every single day and i love it that's a 239 i believe dollar value that you're getting for free and our thrive life freeze-dried food store as well anyway folks thank you for watching stay safe and stay prepared